Are you tired of girls flaking on you or just stringing you along through text with nowhere to turn? Today, we gonna fix that. What up, homie? My name's Dave and I put out new videos every Friday to help you get the girls you want and become the man you're meant to be. And today, I have my boy Lloyd from The Single Guy. What's up, you guys? And How to Beast. And we are gonna be breaking down your text messages, letting you know what you, what you messed up on, what you're doing well with, and showing you how to get even better results. So, you guys ready? Let's go. We're ready. Let's do it. So, the first message is, hey, how's it going? And by the way, this is, I, I believe this is Hinge. Looks like a, looks like a Hinge message. Definitely a Hinge message. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, it's, hey, how's it going? Uh, I'm not really into all this small talk on this app, and I'd much rather meet out. How does that work for you? She comes back. I'd like, to get you, I'd like to get to know you a little bit first, if that's all right. What do you guys think about this? Um, well, yeah, I just, just give this guy a little bit of uh, positivity before we rip on him. Um, I like how he's going for what he wants. I like how he's, you know, at not being shy about it. Um, obviously, there's a lot of stuff that I would approve. What do you think, David? Yeah, I mean, obviously, getting to that, that goal of asking the girl to hang out and getting off the app quickly, it's important so you don't just get grouped in with every other girl, every other guy that that girl's matched with. Yeah. But th there's a basic expectation in terms of, of the flow of how it's going to go, and, and that is a few messages of small talk at the beginning. And while some girls th this could work for, who also just, you know, are they see your profile, they see your photos, and they go, oh, I'd like to meet up with this guy. It could work sometimes. It's not going to be like a winning strategy. It's not going to optimize like how many girls you actually meet up with. Yeah, the hit rate on this type of message is going to be super low, and it's not even actually going to be efficient because it's so low. What would actually be better is if you just blocked like one hour of time each day or a few hours a week where you'd message girls, like try to take them through three, four messages and then go for the hangout. When you show them a little bit of your personality, that's gonna work a lot better than just dropping a message like this. That's again, like super logical. Doesn't really get you where you wanna go. Mm -hmm. um, for example, back in the day, when me and Beast were living together during our, uh, our hardcore like online dating phase, we were, uh, like one message we used to send, what was it bro? We would just send drinks, question mark, by itself. And it actually worked at like a decent conversion rate. But two things, I think first of all, that can work because it's not logical like this, right? It's almost like adventurous and uh, it has like a sense of spontaneity. And mm -hmm. some girls are just gonna be like, oh yeah, I'll get drinks tonight. Whereas this, like now they're like mentally, or they're like logically thinking like, oh, he doesn't want a message on here. He just wants to meet up. And yeah. then like, that makes it almost more negative. Yeah, uh, so there's the thing, the difference between men and women is like, women are looking for a guy who is willing to invest time in them. And you kind of prove right off the bat that he wasn't really to invest the little bit of small talk time that most people have to have a conversation. He was just like, let's just get to the point. Let's get, like, let's move past all this stuff. Listen, guys have been trying to pull that move on women since the beginning of time, <laughs> and it hasn't worked. So you gotta do your due diligence. You gotta go by the social norms. That's just the way the world works. Clean that up, bro. Add a little bit of that conversation throughout. That's gonna be more efficient. It's gonna be better. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. There's nothing wrong with small talk. Just is use small talk as a as a as a pathway to talk about some other cooler stuff that you want to talk about. All right. Next up, we get this guy who got this sexy girl's number at the gym. Let's see how it turned out. So his first message: Hey, Cindy, did you manage to finish your workout without distraction? I like that text, by the way, guys, because that's like some good callback humor. Because like you're the guy coming up and sort of like distracting her. What do you guys think? Yeah, no, it's solid. Yeah, it's fine. It's a solid little first message. She comes back, hello, sexy guy. It was funny because I deleted my apps to avoid distraction at the gym, but I had a longer one. She's obviously she's talking about like him going up and talking to her. <laughs> and he says, uh, haha, I guess I was more irresistible than all those apps. One of those sly, mo sly face emojis. How's your day going? Girl says, very irresistible. You seem like a fun guy. It was a good time. I don't usually talk to anyone at the gym. How's your day going? Did you do anything else besides the gym? So she's investing a lot in this conversation right off the bat and showing a lot of interest, even asking a lot of questions. What do you guys think so far? I mean, so far, she's, so good, yeah. she's basically throwing herself at him. <laughs> yeah. Could, like, just, you'd think you wouldn't be able to fuck this up. Yeah, he's handling this conversation really well and, and I'm proud of him because he's actually a guy who's, who's I've worked with before. He's one of my past students, but here is where he kind of started veering off, veering off track, right? So, <laughs> so she asked us a couple of questions. He comes back. You seem like a nice and cool girl. I like to get you. I like to get to know you more. I've been working and made a beef stir fry for lunch. You seem like you'd be a good cook. 
LOL, I like biking around the city and going on other adventures. How about you? It's such a confusing message, man. He, he went, he like asked a question, but then followed it up with like some more information. Is this well, like, it was one of those WhatsApp messages where you can like reply to like the specific question, but still like. Yeah, still, yeah. You kind of want each message to, uh, just for like the simplicity of having easy conversation, you want each message maybe to be like in response and then another question at, the, at, at like at the very most. Right, right. So if he did this in a paragraph, that would be really bad because like if he, if he just sees this long paragraph of like all these different ideas, she's like, oh my God, I have to respond to like five different things and she's just going to want to put it off and get that's how you get like longer longer response yeah. times. But but even still though, like he's just coming back with too much here. Like you can tell that he's like a little bit too excited in this conversation to just like keep these things going, like like answer <laughs> Let's every stir single fry. Let's have kids together. Let's yeah. get married. Like Let's go to long. <laughs> so in his defense, I feel like he's maybe uh, felt the need to uh, to kind of match because her last message was also very invested, but. Mm, it, even so, like just you know, take take the take the invested text messages is a good thing, but still like stick to the game plan. I don't, yeah. think, it's, I don't think it's terrible, but it's not. I don't think it's going in the right direction. Yeah, he's not he's not being as as efficient as he could be, right? And basically, I'm not gonna like walk you walk you guys through like the next few messages because it was basically that same type of thing. It was a bunch of bullshit, like oh yeah, like stir fry chick, all that type of shit, right? Just basic conversation, and then he finally starts getting to the point. So he says. Awesome, you seem like an adventurous and passionate girl and I think we'll have lots of fun together. Let's grab a coffee and go for a walk. Are you free tomorrow or Sunday? All right, so here he starts like getting to the point, right? Like, all right, like, like he's going for the hangout. But from here, she actually dodged the question. She didn't give him a direct response. Then he suggested a video, a video day because maybe like he was afraid that she wasn't out because of COVID or something like that. And she kind of dodged it again. But she still like stayed active in the text convo. Like like this, the conversation was going on for a couple days. Like she kept sort of responding to him, but just sort of dodging the hangout. So he came to me. He's like, Dave, what do I do? Like what? Like how do I get this girl out? I feel like I'm trapped in this conversation. So I told him, bro, like you gotta cut the BS with this girl and sort of like lay down the boundary and let her know, like, hey, listen, it's been fun talking, but like I'm not really here to text, and and I, and I, I'd much rather have like an in-person connection. So if you're up for that, let me know. What do you guys think about that? Yeah, this is a boundary that, that you're gonna have to draw from time to time. Um, and I think that once you notice the girls falling into this pattern where like you just can't get her on a date, you, I'd say after two attempts max, you just wanna be like, look, you seem like a cool girl. I wanna meet up, I, I wanna get to know you better. Um, it seems like you're not ready. Let me know if you change your mind. I'll just spell it out super clear. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, that's the main point of getting a girl's phone number in the first place is you want to meet up with her, you know, unless you want a pen pal, this is the way to do it. Um, I, I usually do if it's like, I usually give a girl two chances. If you place on both, then, you know, I'll probably try and find somebody else who actually is willing to meet up. Um, for this one, I think, I feel like if he had, rather than saying, are you free tomorrow or Sunday, I, you know, I just kind of like to feel it out and be like, hey, what are you up to this week? And then I try and make plans from there first rather than like, Gotta be tomorrow or Sunday. I don't think it was that bad. No, but, um, she seems like a girl who might have flaked anyway. But similarly, I, I like to start with like getting the buy-in. Like, do you want to hang out sometime later this week? And then like once I've got a yes there, now I can go into setting up the date. But yeah. but at some point, man, you gotta draw. Like at some point, the boundary has to be drawn. And this girl's gonna be like, oh, another guy I can use for like validation yeah. and just like text whenever I'm yeah. feeling lonely. No, so that appeared to be like the direction that this conversation was going. But once like once I gave him that advice, he actually implemented it. He basically dropped that message we talked about before uh, about hanging out in person, and she was down. She actually went met up and hung out with him, and he was able to close the deal and had a great time, right? So just because you're not as efficient as possible, maybe you can you screw a few things up, doesn't mean you still can't you know, get to the end goal by the end. So. Yeah, yeah. I, there was a baseline level of interest the whole time, and I think one of the things that guys can learn from this is that sometimes guys think, oh, I've lost it, or but you don't know what's going on in her life. Like She might have just been busy during those times where he was trying to make plans with her, or she was dealing with some shit, and then when he actually laid down the law, like she was actually more willing to at that point. It's just, you don't, you have no idea what's going on in people's lives. So a lot of people tend to assume the negative. And I always tell my students to assume the positive, assume the attraction and, and act that way. Yeah, no, I, th I think that's an important point that like if a girl is open to meeting up with you, a little mistake, a little over text thing, a little bit of neediness is probably not gonna ruin it. And, and by the opposite, like the opposite spectrum would be if there's a girl and you say like, 
something that you're not even sure if it was good or bad and immediately she stops replying, like don't beat yourself up over what was like maybe a mistake. The girl probably just wasn't really open to it happening in the first place. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sure everybody sitting on this chair has like texted something like, oh, what, what did I text that? That's horrible. Many, and then many. still came back, <laughs> still came back from it, you know? Yeah, For sure. Now guys, we actually have a few more really juicy texts to react to, but we're gonna film part two over on Lloyd's channel the single guy. So make sure to check the first link in the description for that. Go and check that out. And then me and Beast actually filmed a video as well about how me and him met, how we both kind of came up together. If you want to check that out, that is the second link in the description. So go ahead over, check out both these videos. We're going to see you there, homies. Peace out.